Hi everyone! So over the summer, I had the privilege of visiting Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. And it wasn't the first time I've gone, but it was the first time um, I visited the aquarium shops there. There's so much there that's very different than how it is in the West, but also a few things that are similar. The first shop that I visited was a local fish store on its own. It wasn't part of an aquarium district. Um, I love this shop because they have so many tanks with plants and fish that I typically don't see where I live. This is one of the planted display tanks. It has super good growth and everything is very healthy. Um, it has a surface skimmer and ADA lights. And I'll have a little bit more on ADA products later. For the plant holding tanks, I don't know about you guys, but I wish my local Petco and PetSmarts had this. Um, especially here in the US, if you don't live near a larger or more aquascaping focused fish store, um, you have to get a lot of plants online. This tank also had CO2 running and some Celestial Pearl Danios were in there. Um, a really pretty nano fish. I saw Anubias, Java Ferns, Java Moss, various stem plants, lotuses, and a bunch more I can't even name. A hill stream loach right here, and some pink zebra danios, which are quite popular in Asia. This store also had some Pac-Man frogs, which are adorable. Um, some betas that aren't too different from here. They had a lot of dry goods too, and in a huge variety. This is some shrimp and plant soil. They had a lot of plant lights, including a Finex, a lot of Istas. Um, there's some CO2 products here. I was slightly surprised to see such a huge variety of Seachem, API, and Tetra products. Um, there's a couple Kent and Tropica things too, which is really cool. On to aquascaping. Um, they had a lot of tools here, which are super useful for any aquascaper. Um, Dragonstone, rocks, and I believe ADA horn or slimwood, I'm not quite sure which one. ADA and aquascaping material is quite expensive here, but I got all of this dragonstone and wood for like $12. They also had a lot of cheap rimless tanks. The quality probably isn't the same as ADA or UNS though. The shop owner was super helpful. I saw these Norman lamp eyes and at the time I didn't know what they were, but I loved how they looked and the owner looked them up in this book. They also had a huge amount of fish and shrimp. I saw a Frank here but they also had a lot of fish that my local fish stores don't have. So if you want to see all of that, then I will put them at the end of the video. The next place I went is actually a street with a bunch of aquarium shops along it. It's called the Water Street or Shuijie in Mandarin. It looked like some cichlids, koi, piranhas of some sort, a freshwater stingray, and an Asian arowana. Another tank inside the shop had this very large arowana in it. Um, I'm definitely not an expert on arowana, so I don't know what type this is, but the shop owner told me that it was already sold for 65,000 Taiwan dollars, which is about a little bit more than 2,000 US dollars. The shop also had this bin of ridiculously cheap wood. The prices were something in the range of 40 to 100 Taiwan dollars, which is $1.30 to $3.30. Outside these shops along the water street were just more bins and bins of wooden rock. One store was obviously a bit more focused on aquascaping. They had this really peculiar shaped tank and just a lot of other small planted tanks. They also had some really nicely colored cherry shrimp and really shrimp. And at that point, I kind of wanted to do what Coralfish 12G did with his Miami clowns in a water container. Um, obviously, I didn't do that. That's illegal. They had more rimless tanks too. I actually bought one and I'll be setting it up in a future video. This is the store along the water street that I like the most, um, mostly because it had huge, absolutely amazing aquascapes. I think they may have been entering some into competitions.
For any saltwater people, there were also a couple nice saltwater stores here too. Um, the first thing I noticed in this store was a cheese. The corals were really healthy looking and really beautiful. And just watching this footage makes me want a reef tank, honestly. Um, they also had some seahorses. The last store I went to in Taipei was similar to the first, and it was their window display that I really loved. It's kind of like a mix of Dutch and nature style. Um, it has huge, vibrant schools of rasboras and cardinal tetras. They also had a pile of aquascaping material. I got some spiderwood and more dragonstone here. They had a couple freshwater rays too. So after Taiwan, my family went to Shanghai to visit relatives, and the stores here were very similar to the ones in Taiwan. And this one carried Buscephalandra, which I have yet to see in a local fish store anywhere near me. They had more pink zebra danios. Um, I had some when I was living in China, but they aren't glowfish because glowfish are patented, and these are a little bit more natural looking. I think they could be genetically modified in a similar way though. Um, I thought these fish were super cool looking with the blue tip fin, and I've never seen them before. As you've probably noticed, a lot of stores in Asia have rays and arowanas. So the last thing I want to show you guys are these blue and pink frogs. Um, to me, they look like African door frogs, and I don't know if they've been genetically modified like glowfish or if they've been dyed somehow. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on these. So I really hope I was able to give you guys a small view into what local fish stores in Taiwan and Shanghai look like. I have some upcoming overseas trips in 2018. Let me know if you'd like to see more tours like this. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much for watching.